At Auckland's Point View School, mindfulness is just as important as maths. Noticing each breath in and each breath out. They do it every morning, getting skills for the future. I've spent a lot of time in colleges um, in my career and I often said to kids, um, you're far too impulsive, you know, why, do you, why did you just do that? You've got to think before you act. You know, and we say that all the time, but we don't actually give them the tools to think before they act. And that's what mindfulness does. And psychologist Nigel Latter agrees. If I could pass a law, and if there's one thing that I could do that could change New Zealand forever, it would be to teach mindfulness to every kid in every school in the country. Latter cured his fear of spiders while filming The Curious Mind. Oh, Jesus. Oh, for f***'s sake. Oh my God! But at five and a half minutes, literally, my brain went, oh, turns out this isn't a thing. Our brain's elastic ability to make a new pathway is great news for those of us with a phobia, but there are far more meaningful applications. All around the country, there'll be people watching this now who are struggling with anxiety and those negative thoughts that are making their lives a really terrible place to be. But and it, uh, the thing is, it doesn't have to be. Latter describes our brain as a collection of departments, each with its own agenda. And sometimes it lies to us. If every time it happens you go, no, it's not me, it's my brain doing that. And that's a deceptive thought and it's not real. So instead I'm going to think about the fact that actually I can do these things and people do like me and I have had these good experiences. And you just make yourself do that. You wire in you literally do wire in a different pathway and it becomes easier. And he should know. I started mindfulness, I, I did a meditation course when I was 24, um, way before it was trendy or cool. These children are starting even earlier. Because it helps our health. I feel special and relaxed, as if I was in a cloud of fluff. When I was breathing in, the air was cold and when I breathe out, the air is warm. Everybody can do mindfulness if they just try. That would be the one thing that I would do. I would put mindfulness-based training into every school in New Zealand and the difference that it would make would be vast.